Warrior Thunderbird Kids News. Lori Hansberry has special skills as a writer a place she wrote how white Americans understand the struggles of black Americans. It brought many people to the theater at a time when no one thought a play about a black family could be, success, could be a success. Hansberry's 1959 play of Raising in the Sun is about the problems an African-American family faces in the region of its goals and dreams. It later became a successful movie. A Raising in the Sun was the first drama written by an African-American woman performed in Broadway, New York, and New York City, drama critics wrote it the best new play of the year. I'm your news broadcaster, Scholar Maya, for WTKN Channel 8 News. Happy Tuesday, January 18th. We hope you had, sorry, we hope you enjoyed your long weekend. Today is an A day. For Unified Arts, today is a number five day. Our top story is a report on the effectiveness of masks. Stay tuned. At this time, all staff, students, and visitors, please stand and stop in the hallway for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. We will now recite our Warner Pledge. Today I promise to my school, I'll be calm and keep my cool. I'll be ready to show respect. Kindness to others is what we expect. Responsibility is just the key to help me be the best possible me. Warner, Thunderbirds, Warner, Thunderbirds, we ride. Our top story is about masks in school. Students, you must wear a mask every day. Your mask helps protect those around you. COVID-19 spreads mainly from person to person through respiratory droplets. Respiratory droplets travel into the air when you cough, sneeze, talk, shout, or sing. These droplets can then land in the mouth or nose of people who are near you, or they may breathe these droplets in. Masks are a simple barrier to help prevent your respiratory droplets from reaching others. Studies show that masks reduce the spray of droplets when worn over the nose and mouth. Students must have a mask every day. A mask is required to enter the building. We would like you to please bring a mask to school and then back up in your backpack just in case. So, make sure you bring a mask to school and have a backup in your backpack. How do I wear a mask properly, you may ask? Here's how. Wash your hands before and after touching the mask. Only touch the bands or ties when putting on and taking off the mask. Make sure the mask fits to cover your nose, mouth, and chin. Make sure you can talk and breathe comfortably through your mask. Wash for usable masks after each use. So cover your nose, mouth, and chin at all times. We'll be right back after a word about the Thunderbird Exchange. Look at all the wonderful things you can get at the Thunderbird Exchange. Here we have this fuzzy ball for 30 dojo points. We have this pop and fidget toy as a bracelet. We have this squishy and stretchy toy for as this mini cupcake and vanilla icing or chocolate icing or this mini Rubik's Cube. All for 30 dojo points. 
and so much more on the Thunderbird Exchange. Cell phone scholars, cell phones are not allowed in school. If you bring a phone to school, please keep it off and in your backpack. Papa fidget toys, Papa fidget toys are to be left at home. Don't bring your Papa fidget toys to school. In fact, don't bring any tools to school. Fanny packs and purses are not allowed in the classroom. These items must be kept in your lockers. Fanny packs and purses are not banned from our school. You can bring them to school. Just leave them in your locker because they are not allowed in class. Our PATH Teacher of the Week is Miss Newsom. Congratulations, Miss Newsom. Enjoy your parking space. Here I want our students now wear khaki pants or khaki skirts, white Oxford button-up, longer short sleeve shirts, worn a tie, and worn a blazer. Fanny packs and purses are not allowed in the classroom. These items must be kept in your locker. Do you want to stay up to date with the Thunderbird News? Find us on YouTube at Warner Elementary and hit that subscribe button. You'll be notified every time a new program is posted. On our lunch menu today, you have a choice of hot lunch of pizza or a cold lunch of tuna salad on a croissant. We have a birthday today. We want to wish a very happy birthday to Makaya, excuse me, Markaya Davis in room 202, Jamal Rodriguez Raymond in room 115, Destiny Gofney in room 316, sorry, and Luis Rivera Prince in room 221. I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. If you see these students in the hallway, make sure you say happy birthday. We'll be right back with the weather after this important announcement. Hello, welcome to the Thunderbirds Exchange. Today, we have squishy, slime, and foods you can play with, and for 15 dojo points, and much, much more. I'm Scott and Camilla, and we have everything. We have these cute socks. We have this for only seven dojo points. And we also have this alien shock stick and these baby dolls. And also these toys for 10 dojo points and much more. Good morning. I'm your meteorologist, Scholar Maya, for the seven day outlook. Today's high is 36, a mix of sunshine and clouds. Today's low is 25, mostly clear skies with winds at 10 to, I mean at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Wednesday will bring us mostly cloudy skies with a high of 45 and a low, um, and a low of 28. Sorry. Thursday we will bring, I mean we will see some sun in the morning that brings more clouds in a high of 35 and a low of 18. Friday, we will see in intervals of clouds and sunshine with a high of 29 and a low of 19. Saturday will, will bring us a mix of clouds and sunshine with a high of 34 and a low of 22. Sunday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 32 and a low of 18. Wherever you go, no matter what the weather is, always bring your own sunshine. Study hard and I'll see you tomorrow. Back to Scholar Amaya. I'm your news broadcaster, Scholar Maya for WTKN Channel 8 News. And have a great day. Bye.